So all of these pages are velocity. And the Kona cards, we can probably actually go and see some of this. If, we, if I just log into the, to the .cms part, what we've done, we've, um, we've got velocity templates. It's all under simple widgets for um, some of the screens. And we've built view tools, Kona card view tools that the templates can actually go and call. So let's look at like the product information screen. And if you just see some of the detail, they actually call these as KK view tool, which is something that then communicates to Kona Cart. Now, in this installation, Kona Cart is actually within the same web app as .cms, so it's running under Tomcat. But just with a configuration change, uh, Kona Cart could be running somewhere else, and the API calls, it would then start using the SOAP API calls instead of the, the Java API calls. For any of the kind of posting, all of the forms, you know, if you want to change address or if you want to register and so on, they're all done using struts actions. So all of the posting is done using struts and all of the, just the page information and so on is, is got using view tools. So if you just go down there, this is, this is all code, but it, it gets all of the, the data using uh, Konecart view tools that we wrote. And the idea is that you will have access to these as well so that you can kind of create your own UIs and integrate this type of functionality into your .cms um, application. Are there any questions on that? To, uh, to manage a product you have, but you, when you have to go to uh, call a car back office, I think. Huh? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Paolo, show us a little bit about the Kona cart, of how you would manage the products and all of that. Okay. And so I'm this wondering is about, uh, about the number of products. I think, uh, I, I, think uh, could, I see you have a, an XML import. So with an XML import, you can easily upload automatically, say, daily, say, 22,000 to 10,000 products. Otherwise, I think the XML import will be a bit slow if you want to import large number yeah. of products. Well, what we, so found, what we found that most of our kind of bigger customers do is that since it's all API based, so we've mm -hmm. got uh, API calls, which I insert product okay. or edit product. What they tend to do is they write small utilities which interface to either to their ERP system, for example, Audi, uh, they interface with SAP. Uh, there's uh, I saw so there's a, a Dutch partner, so there's actually we've got a, a Dutch customer who's done, who's actually written his own API. They've done a Wicket application for the API, and they sell. They've got about thirty five thousand products, um, videos, and so on. And what they've do, they use Konecart and multi store modes. So they've got two or three different stores based on the same catalog. And again, they use the API to do this. They they've got their catalog in their own system, and they just call call our API. Uh, to load it up there. And that's what most people actually do. Although we, we have got uh, XML, but that isn't the way. That's more, although you can do it, but it's more for a kind of a backup scenario where you just say, um, you know, I want to, I want to, uh, these products, I want to save them in a, in a format that I know I can import into another Kona card system. We also use it for a, the multi-store scenario where you're kind of starting a new store and you just want to load it up, not just with the products, but you want to load it up with a database that you know, you know will work. So we use it for a lot of things like that. But normally, as I said, people would, would import their own products. But if you have got, uh, if you do want to put in something manually, we've got, this is our admin app. So we've got, with the product kind of maintenance, uh, at any point, well, let, let me take a product which has got some attributes, which should probably make it easier. Um, you, can, you can do everything manually as well, because obviously a product can have different languages for its descriptions, for its names. Uh, within the details of the product, you've got different prices, uh, manufacturers' quantities, and so on. Then we can have different images for the product. Uh, it can take different attributes. So, you know, product can have different, in this case, different amounts of memory, uh, different models, and each attribute can change the price. Uh, it can have different quantities. So you can give each kind of variation an SKU, 
and give the SKU different quantities. This is a lot more as well if you like in the fashion industry for clothes where you've got large, small, medium and different colors. A product can belong to different categories. You can easily put it into different categories. You can set up merchandising for the product to set up kind of, you, you can select different products to put into to upselling. Uh, in this case, I haven't got many products. So if I wanted to put uh, uh, some kind of, I say that, you know, to upsell this product, I want to upsell to these two products. And, and then you'd see that as kind of on the upselling link in the application. Uh, if you've got special prices, that these are kind of for sale things. If, you've, uh, you know, if your product is discounted, you could put in a special price, and then on your UI, you could put a red line through it and, and things like that So to, to show it visually. Uh, for digital download products, because we also handle uh, electronic-type products, there you can put in information about how many days you want it to be available for or a maximum number of downloads. And you can um, change information as to whether, for example, if it's a, if it's a PDF, you could tell it to open up in the browser or just um, save it as a file. Then uh, what we've do, we've got these kind of custom fields. We've got a lot more custom fields in the next release, but the idea is that everything is based on message catalogs, so you wouldn't actually keep this as custom. You would put in the name of what this attribute really means. And for the case of a product, if we haven't got enough information to match what you want, you can put in this custom data, and then you can use the custom data to filter the product, to order the product, and so on. So it's a lot of our customers tend to use that because obviously uh, you, you can't, you know, because we, we've got customers which uh, do all sorts of things from car parts to videos to uh, clothing, and they've all got different requirements. So what we tend to do is a kind of a, a fast-performing way of being able to cover this rather than having just kind of match pairs of uh, attribute name and attribute um, value, we tend to put in some custom fields directly on the object. And that way, performance-wise, you can actually use this data and make it perform. Then we've got things like product, okay, reviews, but also product tags. So, for example, what well, I can show product tags on, on this application. I don't think it's in the... If uh, for any product set, I can filter my products by categories, by manufacturer, I can have all sorts of kind of search criteria, but I can also put tags in there. So in the case of uh, videos, we've put in tags to say, you know, okay, you've got all of these videos and you, you've shown me all of the ones that belong are done by Warner, for example, but then I also want all of the ones that are done by Warner, but are also kind of Blu-ray. And I only want the ones that I can show uh, kiddies. So, and that way I can filter them and put in any number of these tags. And these tend to be used a lot in kind of the electronics industry. If, you, if you're searching for digital cameras, you, know, you want so many megapixels, you want a view screen, different color one, and, and things like that. And so it allows you to put in uh, any type of kind of filter that you want for categories of products so that your customer can quickly kind of get down to exactly what he's looking for. Also, our, in the enterprise version, the search, we connect with Solar, the uh, Apache kind of the Lucene search engine. So that way you can put in synonyms and, and things like that to make the searches um, work well and also to be very fast. Within our admin application, obviously you, you can set up a whole everything with Kona cards. Uh, all of the different payment gateways, the shipping pay gateways,